Welcome Sagittarius to your love reading for December 3rd to the 9th of 2018. I always want to say uh, what's up to my centaurs out there. <laughs> so um, let's see, Sagittarius and happy birthday if your birthday is this week. I hope that you uh, have fun and enjoy it. Um, so let's see, Sagittarius and love December 3rd to the 9th of 2018. So um, cut the cross bread, many ones. So let's see the theme, Sagittarius and love. Then we have the five of wands, uh, conflict, all right, uh, disputes, a lot of um, issues where you can't get through to somebody and you get really frustrated, pent up emotions, and then there's the potential for explosions or a lot of um, competition and things like that that might be unhealthy. Um, it doesn't mean that the five of wands can't be a healthy thing, but it can depend on um, where you reach the next thing because you don't want to go to five of wands and then you back down into the three of swords, which could be very um, heartbreaking and frustration. Um, frustrating, all right. Five of Wands for Sagittarius, King of Swords in reverse. You might feel whoever you're dealing with, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, feel like you're dealing with someone who's um, lying, um, a bit um, temperamental, and doing things to manipulate a situation. All right, um, let's see the basic matter for Sagittarius for December 3rd tonight. And then we have the Ace of Cups showing up. Um, uh, this is almost like someone is not telling the truth that there is love there. It could be that there is new love there for some of you. And somebody, um, when someone is being manipulative or controlling or whatever it might be, that's an unhealthy thing. And it could cause someone to respond um, intensely. So there could be some kind of um, a, a breakup or something like that. But I feel like this is due to someone either still being in love or hiding the fact that there is love between you and someone else. The recent past for Sagittarius. The two of sorts, a decision, a choice that you may have had to make during the weekend or um, throughout the week for a lot of you. And it could surround um, the potential for some kind of, kind of conflict or disputes and things. What's on your mind this week for Sagittarius? Then we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, infidelity, cheating, um, some of you where you uh, clear out the Three of Cups in reverse, where there might be a lot of drinking and things, um, but it does seem to be someone else in the picture uh, for a lot of you. Making plans, um, making plans with one person and another person at the same time. Also, trying to as well keep a low profile as you um, focus on the future at times for some of you. Let me see the uh, near future or the outcome for uh, Sagittarius. And then we have the Knight of Swords, and that's another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, frustrated by something that's been happening, something that's been going on. It's almost like a, I love you, or I've been into you, and why do you do these things, or why are you making these changes, or asking certain questions, saying certain things, and um, bringing up certain topics where someone may have been not telling the truth about a third party. Um, and it's trying to turn it back on the situation like it hasn't been happening. So that might be an issue. Uh, some of you are dealing with someone who's very frustrated. Um, and what might, let's see, what might your response be? Well, you have the lovers and usually a, a big choice um, that you have to make um, through commitment, understanding what's better for your heart. Um, is it genuine and sincere? What might your response be to all of this, Sagittarius? You have the King of Wands, so I feel like this is often trying to tell the truth, trying to be honest as you can to alleviate any kind of pain or uh, confrontation. Um, dealing with other people as well, often work. So let's see, um, what might the person you're dealing with, what might they be bringing towards you for Sagittarius? Yeah, they're not being quite honest, so anytime I see certain combinations here, um, there's someone, it seems to be someone else in the picture, or someone is not um, revealing all they might be feeling, all that they might be thinking. Clarify the Seven of Swords for the person coming towards you. Yeah, whoever it might be, um, you may be dealing with someone who's not willing to let you go, um, and they might be trying to hide it. You're also dealing with someone who has a, who's having an issue with letting go of another person which is keeping this in a very uh, toxic kind of um, thing because it's love there but you know um, too many people involved this seems so far and one more thing clarify the energy of the person coming towards you 
Now the air is stressed. The nine of swords is showing up. And one more card for the person coming towards you for Sagittarius. And it's another person, it seems like, in, in the energy. So you get two of wands, almost, right? And then you get the three. So another person in the picture. Um, and that's potentially kind of, you know, blocking things with moving forward. And you um, just looks intense. What is the advice for Sagittarius for uh, December 3rd to 9th, 2018? Uh, the Nine of Cups. Often I told Virgo this as well. They had the same thing. When you're making the right decision, which is feeling good for you and your heart and your happiness i feel like that's the energy of you you know focusing on that being happy feeling good about what you need to do in the right way um and someone is not telling the truth about conflict and even if they're someone hasn't been telling the truth about another party it does bring the conflict because they feel like they've been lied to and manipulated uh clarify the nine of cups for um sagittarius and we have the uh chariot often traveling to come see somebody taking a trip to come see somebody else be careful with um going to see someone else undercover and the other person some kind of way when mercury is in retrograde it can cause issues where you'll um leave something out in the open if you're sneaking doing something like that and then you eventually get caught um and then there's a lot of hidden things going on where that's revealed so Making sure that you try to give off the energy of the King of Wands by doing the right thing in this transition to avoid getting into confrontation where you know deep down in your heart that you would like the other person or everybody to do the same thing by you. So um, that's going to be a reading. I hope the messages did help out. Tons of love, lots of light to you, tons of healing vibes. I wish you the best. You can always go to the website, PsychicLoveHills.com to schedule something for you. And again, happy birthday.